Okay, let's go. All right. Good. Yeah, well, all right. We're live. <laughs> I can't go too long. They'll dock me. So the Wi-Fi in Maine sucks. We've had a fucking shitty storm. So my apologies. That's totally... Anyway, uh -oh. thank you for joining us. Um, today we have some great guests for you. We have Betsy Brown. Hey, everybody. Uh-oh, Adam. Adam is frozen again. Oh, no. <laughs> Adam... Mm -mm. Well, anyway, everybody, you know Josh Purvis from The Searchers. Hey, Josh. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Till Adam catches up, why don't you catch everybody up on The Searchers? <laughs> um. Well, if you guys can actually hear us out there. Uh, we just oh, got there we go. Hey, there he is. I don't know, man. Pray to the gods if it works. Let's have yeah. good thoughts out there, everybody. Josh Purvis from The Searchers. Ah Rock Candy Tours. Betsy Brown Williams, one of The Searchers' good friends. Come on, stay with us. Come on, stay with us. Heather Kimminiti from Witch and Life Guide, my co-host. Hell or high water, we're going to make this work. What is going on, everybody? If I bail, take over for me. I tried to help. <laughs> you, guys you guys are awesome. I don't. That's never happened, man. Uh. All righty. Well, good. All right. Looks like everybody's okay. on. And... We're here. All right. And Josh, uh -oh. searchers. Yeah. Woodman's watching. How's it going, Jenny? Hey, Jenny. Hey, Jenny. <laughs> Jenny's a great investigator. She was just out there with us at the uh, last investigation the searchers had. Yep. That, the Plus, chat's worth of that. Yep. And she also has a uh, web page that I assist with. Yep. Yep. Haunted history. Are they frozen again? Oh, no. They're frozen oh, again. Everybody send positive vibes. Make their mojo work over there with the internet. <laughs> it keeps going in and out. They've yeah. bad weather up there. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I, know, I feel bad for them. I do, too. And guys, I can't see anybody's comments. So if you're commenting, I we apologize can't. in advance. Yeah, we, we can't, can't see them. Uh -oh, Wait a minute. It's, change, it's changing. I got one. Ross uh, said, hi, Heather, Adam, Betsy, and Josh. Hey. And that's all I can see. So everybody tune see. in. <laughs> <laughs> We're just having sure some to, internet difficulties. <laughs> yep. Be sure to go ahead and share it. Share it to your friends. Uh, you know, we're just getting started on this. So. Um, Ken Bull said hi, everyone. Hey. Hi, Ken. I'm kind of helping out Adam and Heather at the moment. Their um, their internet it is a little down. Yeah. So I have to put on my eyeballs. So anyway, as you were saying, Josh, you were talking about the searchers and oh, yeah, um, yeah. tell a little yeah, bit so, about the searchers and what's going on. Yeah. So we've been, uh, you know, pretty busy. I'm, I'm sure as, as people get on, they'll, they'll have a lot of questions for us. Probably yeah. um, one of the big questions that we'll probably get to talk about today is um, having Kristen Lumen on the team now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I know that was kind of like out of left field, but it's something that we have been planning on for for a while. And uh, yeah, she she brings a lot to the table, some very specific uh, knowledge that I think searchers as a group will benefit from. So we're yeah. excited to have her. She's been great. We uh we've actually gone out and done some filming and and, and whatnot, and she. Man, it was like throwing her in the fire. She did awesome. She was amazing. Yeah, I I adore Kristen. Um, I of course I've been paying attention to her for a while since she worked with um, John Zaffis and Brian. I'm going to yep. pronounce it incorrectly. Kano Kano. 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 <laughs> and they were on um, the Haunted Collector, and so I just knew she, she's very. Um, very intelligent and she she does she puts a lot on the table and she you know yeah you know gonna be you know hey. god 
<laughs> We're good. <laughs> Hang in there. Hang in there. <laughs> Dude, I've waited all week for this. Like, you have no idea. Yeah, man. <laughs> thank you guys for that's carrying the show. Josh, thank you for when I got the head on collision and died for 38 seconds in my searcher shirt, and the fucking paramedics <laughs> cut it off me, and the searchers sent me signed sh cards and shirts. And, and you guys have been nothing but awesome for me and Heather. Let me get that in before they kill me off this stupid radio. I owe you a dinner. You're very gratitude. welcome, man. You, your family, your dog, all the searchers, man. You guys have been sweethearts for all of us. And oh. George Bailey, George Bailey. Oh, I saw George. George, you brought George on earlier, didn't you? Before yeah, we got I like, did. oh For a brief man. moment, he is coming gone now. <laughs> all right, thank you all in chat for listening. Thank you guys all for staying in there. Thank you, Betsy, and thank you, <laughs> Josh, for saving the show. Yeah, we really no are problem. Wrong. It's really not my first one, I swear. Um, no, it's okay. So, I get it, man. You guys have had some rough weather lately. So. We are we're covered in like two inches of ice. Yeah, you know, yeah, you so we got hammered. lines being all. Yeah, I yeah. did just spend the night. In, I did just spend the night in a haunted uh, 1830 hotel. So maybe I brought something back. I literally spent uh, the night there, there alone yesterday. You never know. know. He has, yeah, he has a lot of know. electronic issues. A lot of electronics issues, and he's always like, "Why is this always I've happening?" Gone through four like, cars in three, four cars in two years. Everything. Anyway, it's not about me. It's about Josh Purvis. Um, what did you guys just get back from you and Betsy and the whole gang? Oh uh, yeah. So we um actually it's the first uh kind of like outing for the year. You know, we've been doing some stuff in in the background, but uh, you know, we had an event up in Chatsworth, Georgia. Uh, Thank you, Jenny. It was fun. It was great to be back and and see everybody, see a lot of our regulars and a lot of our. Uh, really good investigators that we've made friends with over the years it's just been it was fun it was fun it was now, cold betsy said, y'all cold yeah, yeah betsy said it was because i didn't expect it to be this cold and i and i believe there was what two or three places all attached. yeah so we um we did two places they were kind of like short walking <laughs> uh distance of each other but um yeah it uh luckily both locations had heat so there's that. Yes. Um, I was I was worried, man. I was worried. Well, I it felt was, bad. It was the coldest that it has been in Georgia that this past weekend. What are the of course, <laughs> of course, right? Of course, very cool. And um, um, that's cool because because you you're kind of the territory sir, or you're like more or less. Um, let me think of the word. You kind of look for for the new Trump place to go you yes know, like, yeah certain, right like, you're kind of the location scout there we go um right and of course betsy who's not really in the searches but she's right there i know she sells your merch she pushes you guys she runs a couple pages um and oh, I yeah, actually met absolutely betsy. i met betsy through the searchers group because you guys shared my there accident you go. Great, yeah. so i know yeah, like yeah, betsy, betsy uh, let me tell you, know, you josh betsy yeah. <laughs> Bet betsy's like like we talk like every day. She's like my right. BFF. We we came yeah, into our cool. life. Like nothing is a coincidence. You meet right. nothing happens accidentally. And right. and I finding the searchers, like I was just feeling like I don't know, I was just having a downtime in my life. You know, COVID was going right. on. And here you guys come. Okay. I've been watching some paranormal shows. Then like, okay, I'm feeling better. But then here comes the searchers and they're just something a little different. You know? Mm -hmm. Um well, we appreciate and, that. You, you guys just felt so real to me. Right. And and then Betsy, you know, because Betsy's one of the people that you, you guys also yeah. talk to. So your fans become friends. And that's what I yeah, like. Yeah, absolutely. That's what I absolutely. like about the search well, too. We're down to earth, too. Yeah, most of the paranormal yeah. people, I know Shane's kind of the TV guy, but you guys, it's funny because, I mean, obviously you kind of get some new members and we'll dive into that. But you guys yeah. all bring something to the table. But yeah, yet, absolutely. you're all... I like that down to earth folk. Yeah, it's 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 a weird thing, you know. How do you uh, you kind of have to um, weigh both sides of it, right? So you you know we're out doing the TV stuff, and then um, but you also we you know one of the biggest things about about us from the get go was you know we have to be genuine to the people that support us as well, and we're going to continue to yeah. do that with because without any any of our supporters, you know we'd be nothing. And yeah, we all enjoy what we do, but uh, yeah, yeah, we couldn't do it without 
the people behind us. It really does take a village. You know, Bet Betsy can say that, you know, speak on that more than I can. <laughs> she sees just yeah. how much goes into it in the background. You know, I'm always constantly telling her this and that and this some things we can't talk about, but she understands yeah. the struggles of, of literally everything. So it's uh I was actually gonna ask you there must be some projects coming up, it's just kinda hush hush, I'm sure, right? Oh yeah, constant constant yeah. because like like the way this stuff works is it's like it's, you know, really exciting things, but it's like can't say anything yet. And Shout out to Betsy. How I okay, you got a fan base coming in. I take it this Jenny Woodman, um, this Heath Edwards, Liz Smith. I imagine they all must be searchers. Yep. Or whatever you want to call your fan base. Or, What's up, so man? Speak, but... Hey, Heath. <laughs> yeah, so Heath cool. uh, he cool. works up at uh, Old South Pittsburgh Hospital. He's awesome. Um, oh, wow. shit. I'm friends with Heath. He's been sharing the show. That's right. He's yeah. Pittsburgh. Um, yep. Good people. That's a very bucket list location for me. Super, oh, super man. It's incredible. We got a couple wow. of events coming up this year. Uh, one with some really cool other guests that you guys will see towards the end of the year. It's going to be awesome. It's, it's going to be pretty cool. Very cool. Can we um, – oh, that's the bulldog you hear. That's Heather's bulldog, by the way. It's not <laughs> completely cool. okay. I know you got George Bailey, the dog. What kind of dog is George anyway? Was that a Shih uh, George or? is a Yorkie. But on top of that, I have a Basset Hound as well. So. Oh, that's my Tallulah. I love Tallulah my Tallulah. Those are, those are the, oh, yeah, the big, oh, oh yeah. big deep. Right, yeah, my dad. Oh, yeah. would, he, he knows, he knows stubborn dogs. And, yeah, she's so stubborn. What's that, Josh? She, I said I would try and call her up here with me, but there ain't no way she's coming up here. She's I found her somewhere to sleep and sacked out. <laughs> Guaranteed. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, you guys get people dropping in left and right for Betsy, Heather, hey. everybody. That's awesome. Uh, Josh, tell us a little bit, because I like to have fun with this shit. We're not 100% serious. Yeah, absolutely. What do you get out back there for some prize pieces in your little collection? Oh, yeah. Stay Puft Marshmallow, so, is that Stay Puft? Uh, so this yeah. guy, so I don't have any Stay Puft, I don't think. I do have a lot of Haunted Mansion stuff back there. I'm going to zoom in on just a, you. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a <laughs> mug collector as well, so if you... You look up in the upper rows. I got a bunch of tiki mugs. Uh, my wife oh, is a that's cool. is what you would call a Disney file. So you know, in our excursions, <laughs> I I always like to collect. I got a lot of haunted mansion tiki mugs as well. So, and then uh, if you look at all the that's books, funny. I got all you know. If it's strange and unusual. I got a book about it. I'm sure. Is that the one your old lady was giving you shit about when you said you put it to your library? Oh, was yeah. Library. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because what you guys can't see is on the man. opposite side of the room is another wall about <laughs> twice that size, and it's all of her books as well. So, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yep, this is the library, and my my side of the library may be small, but it's way stranger, I assure you. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. Uh, I got Betsy's a new doll up herself. in there somewhere. And... Betsy's yeah, got I fucking got... Indian relics and scalping yep. utensils. Yep. And... That's cool. Uh, what is um... the Vatican up there somewhere? <gasps> oh, yeah. oh wow! Wow. Some... I actually have a rock up there from where David fought Goliath too. Nah. -uh. Shut yeah. up, dude. Biblical yeah, somebody... stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So. Got some olive wood stuff. I got some uh, bog wood necklaces. And then if you guys don't know what bog wood is, it's like literally the oldest wood it's, in creation. Yeah. It's, it's uh, like oh, it's, it goes it's back BC to like the wood. Celtic times. Yeah. It's, it's BC before wood. Christ. Yeah. People use yeah. polysanto sometimes. They use it out of that. They carve it out of the old woods and, and yeah. shit. But that's expensive to get that. Wow. You have a thriller collection. Holy shit. Yeah. So I'm always collecting something weird at some point, you know. So those of you out there, those those of you super fans of Josh, get him some haunted mansion stuff, some swag. Oh man, I love haunted mansion stuff. It will good to know up here. I got I got haunted mansion Funko Pops, haunted mansion tiki mugs. Let me grab one real quick, dude. My guest last night, Nicole, was been to haunted mansion. She said it's haunted. The one in Florida is literally haunted. Yeah, that's the one we normally go to. This is my favorite. Oh wow! I'm gonna zoom in on just you again, Josh, just because I'm a pervert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. The gargoyle from the haunted mansion. It's cool. These little guys up here too. 
see if I can screw them in. Oh, dude. I don't know. Anyway, now, did you, they, did they, you drink they some good up. stuff out of all those? Some good beverages out came out of, of those, right? I don't yeah, drink Yeah, I just collect them, them, huh? I, I collect them. You could make a tiki bar out of all that stuff, honestly. Dude, oh, absolutely. Wild. You know, we actually do have a tiki bar down here in Macon as well. Uh, some friends of mine run it. It's called no kidding. The, Oh, yeah, and it's like a uh, hole in the wall, too. You wouldn't know it was there. That's the yeah, best. You got to be in the know to know that it's there. You know what I mean? And <laughs> I love so, those ones. So it's like a, it's like a you broom. You want me to the know? In the, the, you have to be in the know? Oh, I want, <laughs> once you're in the know, you, yeah. So that yeah. means that when me and Heather and Betsy drive down to Georgia this summer, that we'll, you're in the know Absolutely. so you can bring us. Absolutely. Hear that, girls? I don't give up. I don't care. I'll ask right up because jo Josh already told me if he comes to New England, he's going to look me up first. So if I go out there, I'm looking him up first. Josh and yeah, me are going to do it. Yeah. You guys yeah, have gotta... to come to New England. Oh my God, please oh, come to New England. We're going to make it up that way for sure. For sure. Yeah, I've been talking to Adam about some stuff, you know, looking for some interesting stories and stuff to follow up on. And yeah. Oh, it's magical. We got a big year, awesome. So. Awesome. Yeah, I, I think it's going to be good. Um, let's talk about your new members. You got a, a new lady on the crew. Let's yeah, talk about she's busy Kristen tonight. Lehman. What's her name? You know, I, I know. You know, let's kind of talk Lehman. about Ray a little bit too. Oh. I I know we didn't speak about Ray a lot, and you know, Ray kind of departing the team, if you will. But he had to, and he has a really cool project coming out. I can't talk about it, but you guys will all get to see it, see it. So if anybody's wondering, no, we do not have any bad blood. And we actually have been discussing maybe doing some some live stuff here in the future with uh, Ray. Um, that's what I had on my show back in, back in fucking yeah. June. Yeah. Yeah. So he left some really big shoes to fill, right? And so the last, I, I want to say probably since... November or so, we've been scratching our heads about who who that third person was going to be because, again, it, it's less about being a paranormal investigator and more about who you are as a person for us. That kind of so we interviewed a lot of people. We had a lot of really good people, um, and she brought something to the table in the form of hypnotherapy and. That is something that we thought was going to play a little bit into what what we do as a team. You know, we do a lot of sensory deprivation stuff. And mm -hmm. so hypnotherapy kind of falls in that that realm. Yeah, um, especially with the Estes you know, method. You guys turned me on to the Estes, which mm -hmm. you didn't invent it, but you kind of no, really, of course not. You brought it back. I guess. really weird connection with it, if you will. And um, it just always seems to produce some incredible result, results for us. And we don't oh. really know why. And. You're sitting there, uh, dude. You get your face all covered and, you, and shit. Yeah. And you're saying stuff, and Shane's like, "Oh, this. Oh, it's such a great technique." My my favorite moments is when they get freaked out. <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> freaky. It's freaky. If you guys, if you guys are ever at an event, you know, we I got asked to do it at, at the Chatsworth one, so I said, "Sure, we'll we'll do it." And um, did the Estes method, and even there. I, I don't I don't remember who who got me out of it, but I was oh well, well, you Betsy. Yeah. But yeah. Well, it's because I mean, it you had just out. been touched, and yeah. Jenny and all of us we were and Sean we were all saying you know it's time to pull him out like he's starting to get touched he's starting to get fidgety, no and shit. so I oh. went to tap your leg. Well, when I did, I didn't realize the lady standing next to me. Tapped your shoulder and <laughs> told you, Whoa! And I thought, the bubble tap? Oh, you know, oh, and ducking and stuff. You immediately, um, your your normal response is fight or flight, right? Right. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. yeah. And, and swinging. Someone's getting a bloody nose. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, and then Absolutely. you know, especially after you've been touched, you're you're super sensitive to yeah. what happens next. So it, yeah. But it was, I mean, it's funny, but it's not. It's, it's like you need to pull them out. <laughs> I mean, not play around get, anymore, you know? We get yeah. used to it. And the longer that we get into it, you get you get into this sort of trance, if you will. And um, you become, like, overcome with the sound of static. And you don't even care where you're at or what you're doing. All you care about is listening to what, what you can hear. And um, so you kind of forget all everything going on around you, you know? I see that when you're in the chair, it's like you become one. 
Oh yeah, and I, that's, I think that's why we do it so well. It's because we really do. We kind of meditate into it, and yeah, and, uh, yeah. It's it's interesting. I told I told them all, you know, at the event. I was like, you know, yeah, I'm gonna, I'll do it. I was like, but it's about to get really weird. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and it, did. And it all it always yeah. does. I mean, it always does, and it throws people off how weird it it can get. You know. Um, it, it's truly interesting because you get a good perspective of like whatever is going on and whoever you're talking to know more than just communicating with me. They know what's going on around me. They know what's going on with the people around me. And you're a vessel. You really, you're almost yeah, a vessel. In you a become way. a vessel. Really? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And you're kind of like you say, you kind of want to get grounded. So you let them come through you, but not take you over. That's when it gets right. fucking scary. So right. it's like, all right, you can. I've use had that me, happen but once. Actually, you back and you try to overtake me. No shit, really. That, Let's talk about yeah. that demonic stuff. People like that. Um, so it wasn't necessarily demonic, but I did have a one where I really did become like a conduit, and uh, it was actually <laughs> don't laugh, but it was a little girl at this place, yeah. and you know, Shane That's and scary. Ray could could speak on it more than I can, but cause I was the one going through the Estes method, but then like looking at the playback of everything, I'm like, Holy moly, man. Like I was like wow. in it, you know, in la la land. And, and, wow. um, and it, it, I started taking on like a different voice and, and everything. It's, it, it truly got strange. It's the strangest one virtual- I've ever done. Do you think it put you aside or literally just took right over? Did you feel like you were in control at all or just literally like Betty and Barney in, Hill, like I counted for time? I was time, in control, like, but it's almost like I didn't care about it. You know, I didn't care about who was in control. All I could hear was this little girl in my headphones. And it's like, it became, I became so tranced in it because I could hear it. But it was like, it was also like I had to focus really hard on what was being said. It was like so no. clear, but at the same time, not, you know, and, wow. and so I became like obsessed with it. And, um, no. and I just kind of just was like, I don't care. I got to understand. She's time trying to tell me something. What is she saying? And I became just like obsessed, obsessed with it. And, Chasing the dragon, man. A little bit more, yeah. a little bit more, a little bit more info. What do they got next? What do they got? Right. Yeah. Because. <laughs> To me, I was like, oh, man, this girl is, like, regularly speaking to me. I I have rush. to figure out what she's saying. Why, why is she talking to me? And, yeah. Um, wow. So, yeah, I mean, that's kind of you, you kind of dive in at that point, and you, you hope that the people on the outside can uh, make sure you're safe. And that's what Shane and, yeah. and Ray did, you know. That's, so that's important, know? being with yeah, people yeah, that are safe. You, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's your thing. And I think you surround yourself with people like Betsy. And of course, like you say, you're willing to work with all your fans. But at the same yeah. time, you want to bring people in that are serious and aren't going to make it scary or endanger you or anybody. Yeah. I think Betsy's one of the ones that's got a lot of respect for a lot of that aspect of stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and, you know, a lot of times, and that was another thing about filling that third spot for us is like, yeah, we do a lot of events and Betsy's around for a lot of that stuff. But a lot of times it truly is just the, us three. And, you know, lately it's just been two camera guys, you know. So if we're, you know, if we're in this giant place such as like Sweet Springs Sanitarium, then it's overwhelming how alone you are, you know. Yeah. And if you can't if you can't rely on the person next to you, you're, you're in deep trouble. <laughs> yeah. It's like any yeah, like rock climbing, right? Like parachuting, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. absolutely, absolutely. Because I mean, absolutely. any anything can happen. I mean, just as something as simple as getting hurt, and, you know, and you just never know. You just never know yeah. what 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 will take place. Any time could be something you never know. Absolutely, absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> that, uh, Betsy, Heather, the ladies, you guys got any questions for Josh? Anything you want to add or say? I'm gonna take a shot real quick. Butterscotch, non alcoholic. <laughs> It's Saturday night. I'm not driving. What about right? you? What about you, Betsy? Do you have anything? Like, what's it? Okay, let me ask you, Betsy. What is it like, um, kind of a little bit behind the scenes, like just watching? Because you're behind that merch table at some of these events, so you're kind of watching everybody do their thing. I mean, well, I mean, beforehand, yeah. Hey, Nicole. Um, beforehand, yeah. I mean, when the event starts, 
no one's behind any table. We're we're all together. Oh, that's but so cool. Yeah. To watch like new faces come in, I get excited because I don't know if they have personally already been investigating or not, but to see their face when they first walk in, to see you know, to, to notice how their reaction is is it's kind of it's fun really yeah. and it's not fun in a bad way it's fun as in very knowledgeable as to like who to kind of stick around and make sure we guide this way and you know keep them close to josh or shane or whatnot mm -hmm. you know just you know i tell you one another so betsy it's, thinks it's, the world of all you betsy's always like josh is doing this and he's funny doing that and then he's off doing this and then you guys you're such professionals. <laughs> you're so down to earth, and like, like we like we've met Tony Sparrow, and he's got an aura about him, and it's like eh, I don't know if I should say anything, but I can see with you guys, it's just like, what's up, Josh? What's up? You hear the oh, new yeah. LA song? Yeah, yeah, you know what absolutely. I mean. Like, and, but but you're really serious about it, and like I say, yeah. and Betsy, uh, yeah, Betsy goes to bat for you guys all the time, dude. You know that she's like super fan. <laughs> oh yeah, um, she's you promotion know. machine. But she has a heart of gold, and she just Absolutely. all these events like Las Vegas was was a, show, was a sell, it was awesome, wasn't it? Betsy it was had different. a ton of fun. <laughs> she had no, it was fun. It was fun. <laughs> it was fun. That was a learning experience. A what? That's a, a big one. Experience. That's that's a big event. A big event to learn at. <laughs> She was uh yeah. she was a bit overwhelmed at first, but uh, I think it uh, went well. It did. What about you? You must have been turning every way from sideways. People must have been calling your name. You're turning around. What oh no, know? not not necessarily. I, I think well, you know, I was sitting across the uh, the room from uh, Dave and and Shane and Cindy actually. So it, I did. I spent <laughs> seventy five percent of my time going up to other people and talking to them, talking to Brian, talking to Rochelle, Dustin, Brian. You know, uh, you know, everybody, Dave, uh, me and Dave joking around with Shane a good bit, you know, and you kind of the man of behind the sheet, but you like it that way. Oh, yeah. Awesome. yeah. You kind of like being out of the, yeah. Oh, you know, I'll talk to anybody that comes up to the booth and I, and I tried to do that as much as possible. But um, at the same time, I, I want to go catch up with a lot of people that I haven't been able to catch up with. So um, all, cool. all the guys from Destination Fear and, and, and Chelsea, you know, of course. Uh, they, man, they stole the show there and uh, line out the Very door. Cool. But they were they were awesome. They really were. Oh, uh, they're, that's cool. Which you know, when they first started coming out on on TV, Shane and I both were like, you know, these these people right here, they have it because they kind of shared that idea of being genuine, right? And um, mm -hmm. so they and they truly are, you know, as people. That's um, cool. May I interject for just a moment? Yeah, I just want to say course, that you. everyone that I met, um, yeah. because Josh, <laughs> I did learn though just to buck up and do it myself. So, yep. um, but everyone I met, even though we've seen them on TV and even though we, you know, hear them here or see them in Twitter or whatever, they are all actually down home, genuine wholesome people and there wasn't a bit of fakeness about them so nah. that's good it they, was, you know, they're all easy. just you know this is their their life most of it their livelihood is, as well so it's like yeah you know, they feel as humble as we do about yeah thing. i was more so humble speaking of than being... anybody knows <laughs> <laughs> well, Josh is pretty humble. I'm gonna throw this thing because me and Josh are shooting the breeze about metal because we both love ourselves some uh, yeah. hardcore uh, uh, as they lay dying on earth type stuff. Josh, you want to tell the audience who you got an opportunity to play with on stage? Yeah, I got a I got a, the opportunity to play with as they lay dying. It's probably been uh, 12 years or so ago. So for those of you that don't That's know, I used to be in a metal band. Uh, yes, the, talk about the band that. Was called actually, a well, yeah. It's called Awakener. If you want to look it up on Spotify, there's an album called Shadows out there that's still floating around. But uh, we toured for a good bit. We we were pretty, you know, had a lot of fun with it. It at the time, up until uh, I got married, that's like what I did. You know, that was you know I was traveling doing that. And um, yeah, we had the opportunity to play with a lot of incredible bands, Under Oath, As I Lay Dying. Uh, I don't I think know, I man. Right. So, just just so that's it. Yep. I smelled it right. Just, All right, cool. 
that so many bands right and um yeah even then we were we were humbled by it it's pretty it's pretty it's pretty insane to to look out and sometimes be playing you know to like 500 to 800 people it's like and, and a lot of people you know metal has this like stigma about it of uh, you know it's not real music or whatever but to me it was like it's it is it's real to these people and it, it was our job to put on a show for them you know and we you never know what somebody's going through as well so that that, that one night may be the the best night of their life you know so it was our job to make sure that they everybody had a good time yeah i feel like that's something about you when you go to something you go all out you go full oh, absolutely if you're a ghost hunter <laughs> yeah. an investigator shane, a researcher, shane would say a the same thing is, is i don't stop right <laughs> and, uh, me, shane and i have been friends for a very long time and we'll butt heads from time to time but one one thing that has always stand true well two things that have always stood true for me is one i never intentionally hurt people and two i won't stop if, if if I know that I, I can go and get something, right? So like, that's just who I am as a person. Always been that way and always will be. Uh, sometimes it makes me want to beat my head against the wall, but <laughs> I just go and do it. Hard work Betsy comes, sees hard from work time to time. time. I, I'll get yeah. into like this a ridiculous depression at times because I just can't. I can't figure out all the answers sometimes. And then sometimes I have to just be reminded to be patient and just let it play out, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I think we all have to be reminded of that every once in a while. Man. <laughs> and, and it was the same way when I was playing music, you know, I was the vocalist. Uh, I was almost like the dad of the band, if you will, setting up all of our tours and shows and, and whatnot. And, and, uh, I put a lot of responsibility on myself back then as well. Um, but you know, the, there's no bigger responsibility than making sure that our supporters actually get the most out of what we can be. Right. So we owe it yeah. to everybody to do the best that we can at what we do always. Um, wow. That's very commendable. Yes. And, and yeah. that's, that's what we do. I mean, Shane and I aren't getting any, any older and every time we do an event we feel like we've been beat by a baseball bat <laughs> <laughs> paranormal <laughs> hangover <laughs> Investigation well, hangover. you know what what people don't you know we're going out to louisiana soon shane and i are going to drive there so that's like a 10-hour oh. drive and then two two back-to-back -back events and then me and him have to drive to texas afterwards to do some filming stuff and then we got to drive back home so it's like it doesn't end you know um however we're going to go, we're going to enjoy it and we'll sleep at some point. Right. Mm. See, and, and it's true because in this field and, in, and on, you really not to stay, not that you have to stay relevant, but it's true. If you're not doing something, there's a nine other teams, a hundred other teams out there that are doing something. And it's, yeah, you yeah wanna, absolutely. You know, and, and plus I think it's good to stay sharp too. Um, yeah. Heather, I know you're muted real quick. I know that this bulldog snoring is wicked loud. Um, you want to ask? <laughs> I want you to ask Josh a question about maybe like herbs and stuff more up your alley. See if some of that stuff. Well, I can definitely do that. But one thing that actually fascinates me about Josh is when he went to like the the film aspect of your brain, the filming and Whoa. that stuff. And um, because you yes. went to film school, right? Didn't you go? Yeah. To I did. School I'm actually, I'm, all, I'm actually all self taught. However, no. I've been doing it for eight or nine years, and the guy that is actually doing our filming as of late, Dines Media, and Bobby McCullough and Isaiah Williams, uh, Bobby was always like a mentor for me as well, because he's been doing it for a living, a living for a very long time now. And so anytime I had any hurdles or struggles with, you know, that were business related, he was the guy that was just telling me, you know, you know, it's just the day it'll push through, you know, you'll, you'll be okay. Um, wow. but it's kind of nice to kind of step away from just the camera angle and, and really just talk about creating and then working with Bobby, working with Shane and all of us coming together and, and really saying like, you know, making really tactical decisions about how stuff gets 
how we film stuff and what what our story is really going to play out to be on yeah on, how it's presented that. is everything right. yeah 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 absolutely. yeah and, you know, one of the biggest things for us was that it's got to be more than just a location, right? It's got to be something. There's got to be a really good story behind everything that we, we touch on. Um, and then on top of that, we as people have to be genuine to it as, as well. So if it's not organic, oh, man. then we... Then you ain't we, talking to a more, to Josh, you're not, you're not talking to a more passionate person. Maine's got at least 10, 15 stories between Satan's footprint to witches to <laughs> mermaids, brother. You come down here, man. All I ask is that you just take a selfie with me, and I will literally tell you three <laughs> or four stories. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I mean, yeah, seriously, so, you know, brother. And, and, I, I'm and get some lofts going. I'm willing to give up the gold. And take a Betsy. Betsy, 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 Betsy. Oh, I'm coming. I would love to collaborate with you guys and, and let yeah. you in on some of my secret <laughs> locations that I know. Yeah, because absolutely. Because you're people I can get behind. Um, yeah, yeah I sure. love all your work. And you know, Bobby, uh -oh. you know. Every back. Uh -oh. Oh. You're back. Oh, you no, go. we're back. You're back. <laughs> so, when, you know, Bobby. <laughs> Hang in there. That, that was an intermission. <laughs> Bobby early on had never filmed anything uh, paranormal related or anything. So uh, we were like his first like, you know, up to bat for that kind of stuff. But it, it really works well because Bobby has this vision um, just about his his way of editing. And I've, and I've always told Bobby that, you know, he and I could, could film the same exact thing. But then in post-production, there's just something about the way that his mind works that really does what I feel justice, you know, and, and early on it was, we were talking about, you know, doing this filming stuff and it was like, well, Josh, you could just do it. And yeah, but I would not ever be able to accomplish what Bobby does because his thoughts are just different, right? They're different than mine. And I didn't want mine to be there. I wanted his. And, um, and it was kind of like, so you guys have seen a, a little taste of what he what he has uh, given us, and it's you know, there for us there are no it's it's just him and, and Isaiah you know we're just out. Um, Shane and I do a lot of like the pre production stuff, but uh, yeah, I mean it. We have to make it's sure that effort. it's yeah, <laughs> absolutely. And then we have uh, you know, lately we've had Madison Cummins doing a lot of our graphic work and everything. She's incredible. With, uh. She's she's going places, you know, and um, I think yes, Betsy talked about she's an illustrator or she's a yeah, yeah, yeah. She's a graphic, graphic design, yeah, yeah. graphic design. Young, two twenty or something, twenty two. She got a whole life ahead yeah. of her. And she's yeah, talented. yeah, she's, yeah. She's, she's very cool. talented. She's she's going places wow. for sure. That's um, cool. That's cool. So um, yeah, the, creatively, it's always like this this battle between us, right? But that's always the good part about it is like. We're all for, you know, tomorrow we're actually supposed to get together and, and talk about some pre-production stuff that's not that's paranormal cool. related um, that we're doing. But uh, it's always like, man, we got to make sure that we do every project justice, right? And and make yeah. sure that it's all, we want everybody that watches it to feel how we feel in the moment. And how, how do you accomplish that, you know? A perfectionist, so to speak, but not in the sense where you're going to be la dee and better than everyone, but you want to yeah, almost yeah, just absolutely. Do, yeah, I know what you're saying. I, make, I we, get it. You know, That's we great. have a certain, uh, we have a huge amount of respect for the stories that we go go and do, right? So in, in our eyes, it's like we have to make this the best it can be for, for the story's sake, right? Right. It, it would be yeah. a shame if we didn't and people saw it. It makes sense. You're not going to put your name on something that you don't believe yourself, right? Uh, oh, Johnny, Johnny Law. What's up, Johnny? Johnny's good people. He's uh, he owns Andy's Pub. He owns Andy's oh. Pub in Portland, Maine. It's haunted by a girl hey. named Betsy, and the girl named <laughs> Betsy that put too much ketchup on her hamburger that used to work there. She died, yeah. right? Uh -oh. And a ketchup bottle. We get on video. The ketchup bottle fell and three, went three feet on the floor. He showed me the video of it in the security monitor. So Betsy is alive and well at Andy's Betsy, Pub. You Thank go. you, Johnny. That, that sounds a like a good place to go. <laughs> He would shut it down for us, dude. That's I just guy don't want ketchup. No ketchup, please. No. That. That's, that's why it keeps getting thrown. Oh, that's yeah, no. right. No ketchup. Um, um, real quick, Betsy. So what's what's your favorite? What's your favorite uh, with the searchers? Was it St. Pauli? Was it the jail? Was that your favorite? It well, 
for the longest it was and it still is um however when we all went up to, <laughs> when we all went to uh the uh haunted uh south pittsburgh hospital in uh pittsburgh oh, tennessee okay. south pittsburgh tennessee That's when Heath runs Heath Evans huh? or uh yeah so he yeah he yeah yeah, he, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah sorry so ronnie is ronnie is the one that owns the location but heath is a uh, He's been working with them for a while now. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So he's like, oh, wow. So a tour guide type guy or. Yeah. And uh, let me tell you, man, those, those people are the real deal. They run a tight ship when it comes to their events. And it it, it was really, they're great. They are yeah. great. really good. Wow. Really awesome. Some more, hey, some more Auntie friends. Beth. Hello. Hello. Mary Elizabeth Lentz. I hope I said that right. Thank you for jumping hey, in. Adam, just call her Auntie Beth. Auntie, Auntie Beth. Beth. Auntie Beth. All right, Auntie yeah. Beth. What's up, Auntie Beth? This will be uploaded um, uh, on YouTube like, tomorrow or tonight, and you'll be able to watch the beginning. So no worries for tuning in late, everyone. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. We're talking to Josh Purvis of the Searchers and the Rock Candy Tours. Is that I was looking yep. at that? That's music related. That's yeah. So that actually, first? so how I kind of fell into that is me and my wife. They actually approached us about uh designing like a, their, the first walking ghost tour for Macon actually there um so we did that and we ran it for a couple of years this past year uh her and I decided to step away from it just because I knew things were ramping up with searchers and we have a lot of opportunities and I didn't want to make a commitment to something that I I wouldn't necessarily be able to meet so um well, that's that's credible yeah right so I mean, I, you know of course, I told him. I told him ahead of time and whatnot. And uh, Jamie Weatherford, he owns Rock Candy Tours. And man, talking about a knowledgeable guy about about the city that he lives in, he's he's incredible. That's the guy that runs it. That's the owner. Yeah, yeah. So he knows. Um, he actually has his wife has really deep roots into uh, making music. Uh, her dad i want to say was part of uh capricorn records and capricorn Red records uh had a uh, otis redding leonard skinner yeah the old school uh, southern rock blues type oh stuff. yeah, yeah. allman brothers guys. they're very known for allman. allman brothers you know allman Think brothers lived CC. here yeah okay. yep, all kinds and so actually a, a couple of years back because they rebuilt the studio and uh kept some of the original rooms and everything uh we actually got the opportunity to go and uh, investigate that place. Uh, a local university owns it now, Mercer University, and um, we got. They asked us to come out for a Halloween thing, and it was actually pretty cool. Oh, pretty that cool. is cool. It's it's like stepping back in time if you go into some of the studios there. It's uh, it caught on fire years and years ago, but when they rebuilt it, they kept as much of the the, the old stuff as they could. So Relic. what's really cool yeah. now is uh, Bobby's office is, is now located over there at Capricorn, too. So it's really oh. weird feeling. It's right? like full, full circle, full circle. Full circle, right. That is so crazy. Of, Sorry, the bulldog's always, looking loud. <laughs> oh, it's okay. The girls are a ton laughing. of respect for them, though, and a ton of respect <laughs> for Capricorn. How can you not when there's such a, you know, your city's history is like steeped in it, you know? Oh, absolutely! Is and so were you you were you born and raised there, or I mean, because I know you're. I was born in Macon, but I wasn't raised in Macon. I actually lived in a very small town called uh, Pottersville, and it's uh, very south. Uh, I always tell people that if you, I am like the epitome of like backwoods southern, <laughs> like. <laughs> um, <laughs> the accent that I used to have is nothing compared to. To, to where I'm at now, like it used to be really bad, like like four wheeling not, through the mud. Oh yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. for sure. So um, you know, me, and, oh. my family, and I, we we grew up on my my dad hunt for majority of the stuff that we ate, and my uncle had a farm right up the road. We'd go and pick peas and get eggs and this. Wow, and that. blue collar um, shit. Yeah. Oh yeah. Cool. Oh yeah, man. Like old school yeah. stuff. And um, as I was. You know that that was up until I was about a teenager, and of course we started getting a little more sophisticated at that point. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, yeah you know, I was born, that, born I mean, in, right? no, I mean, absolutely roots, not. Yeah, you know, 
Absolutely. You're still yeah. a hard worker. I mean, you, of that stuff. You're not getting your fingernails Absolutely. dirty, so to speak, but you're working your brain every day. Oh man. Hard, right? But you know, you know what though? You know, that's one of the biggest things my dad's ever instilled in me is uh even even when he could have gotten me a job that was easier, he made sure I was doing the the labor stuff, you know, blisters on my hands and cuts everywhere. I was a warehouse work. I've done everything, man. You name yeah. it. Firefighter, warehouse worker. Uh, you paid your dues, so to speak. You paid your electrician. dues. Electrician. Oh yeah, absolutely. I, I mean, absolutely hey, paid my you dues. Were, you were a musician. Else. A musician. Yeah, musician. <laughs> um, I sang in a band too. Trust me, it's not glamorous like people think. And was your oh god, god no. Uh, most so, of the times so, I'm sleeping in a van. So dive bars, you're leaving dive bars at one in the morning. Hey fella, yep. want to come home? Some girl with no yeah, people don't know. I love me. Uh, yeah, it's something that really people don't don't talk about. You have no friends when you're in a band besides your <laughs> bandmates, and because you don't, you're not in town long enough to have friends. So. It's no. like, and then when everybody in, in town's out doing, you know, what normal people do, you're practicing and writing music and getting ready to go out. And, and it's hard to get a girl. Because, you know, and it's hard to get a girl because they think you're a loser. You're not getting money. You're gone all the time. Yep. Drinking beer with other girls. So well, gonna I'm going to say We're it's probably hard. It's wrong. probably hard to get a girl if you're in a metal band. The girls usually will like. That's that's what yeah. I would think. That's what I yeah. would think. Because I think there'll yeah, be a lot sure. of girls that we jump on. They're like, well, oh, look I at mean, the pretty boy. The pretty well, boy band. Metal, metal like Motley Crue, hair metal is one thing. But metal like me and Josh like, like hardcore, yeah. Yeah, like, sure. like metalcore, like As They Lay Dying, Unearth, fucking. Um, did you say Shadows Fall earlier, Josh? You saw? Mm, I have not seen Shadows Fall, although they will be playing at a uh, festival down in Birmingham. Ooh. Seen them once. The singer's got huge year. dreadlocks. They're from Boston. Oh, really? Oh, Yes, we played with a. We went on tour with a band uh, that uh, it's called For Today. I don't know if you've heard them or not, but uh, you have to listen to them. Um, and I say all of that because their singer at the time had dreadlocks. So, oh, that's cool. That's cool. So look yep. at that. Josh is all around musician. Are you an author? Have you written anything? Do you plan on? Writing I have not anything? written anything. My wife is actually getting ready to to release some stuff, which is I'm excited for. Hashtag Mandy Purvis. Yeah. What's yep. it? What's yeah. it? M. What's it? M E Purvis dot com. What is it? M A E Purvis. A That's what it is. A oh, come on, Josh. Don't you're online. A Sorry. I, yeah. I had it, it. Took me a second because she she really struggled with what her author name was going to be. Right. Early so on. thank you. Oh, yeah. that's cool. That's cool. Very cool. Um. So yeah, we got about twelve. 13 14 minutes is there anything you want to plug is there any place i know obviously searchers but for those of you watching is there like a go ahead and plug anything man anything you guys want <laughs> um, hey um you, you obviously uh do you have a youtube page or anything no uh, we don't actually. Uh, we've been asked that a lot, but we do not do YouTube videos yet. Betsy um, just had a ghost walking back of her upstairs. Yeah, is that oh. Victor there. Yep, that that's, yep, that's Bigfoot. Big oh. <laughs> it's it's her in laws. Her in laws. <laughs> oh, Josh, have you ever gone Victor. monster hunting or UFO hunting or anything? Searching? Oh yeah, I've been Bigfoot hunting out in the uh, Daniel Boone National Forest actually, and. And you know, oh. people that don't know, Daniel Boone wrote about it in his journal. He wrote about it in his book. Yeah, yeah, he did. You've been there? Yeah. Yeah. Oh man. shit. That's on my bucket list. Daniel Boone National Forest. Wow. Lots of missing persons, uh, lots of alien Abductions. stuff going on there too. Yeah. You spent the night or you just walked around for a couple hours? Would you would you I, still I mean, cool? Depends it's on so what cool. you uh, say. Spent the night because I was up. <laughs> oh, that's cool! Wow, walking around at one in the morning through the Daniel Boone woods. Holy man! Moly. I will say this though: something really strange did happen there. It's not Bigfoot related, at least I don't think it is. But walking through the woods at night, I saw all these like little glowy patches on the on the ground. I've never seen it before, and I haven't seen it since. But they they were just all scattered in the woods and like just little like luminescent. Know, it. Well, yeah, luminescent. Little luminescent spot. There's got to be so much we don't know about. It. It's so cool because you're not going to yeah. see it unless you go out there and mm. yeah, and, yeah, and, sure. and look. Yeah. And you have to. Like you really have to look like behind what you think. New Jersey. 
Yeah, the yeah. Jersey Devil, the Pine Barrens. You think New Jersey's not that big, but if you actually Google Earth of Pine Barrens in New Jersey, it's like 18, 25 acres of just woods. Uh, you know, it, it could be, yeah, it doesn't take much to make people don't realize just how big that is. So, you know, and yeah. It's, wow. Uh, that's pretty until cool. you're stuck in it. And still, <laughs> until you're out there by yourself, then you I think realize that. Adam, what, we, we got lost in like what one acre of woods trying to the, the yeah, experimental woods. This past it really fall, wasn't, we had to yeah. walk out. We tried to find this pond. We even had like this paper map, and we ended up in like I don't know where he's just middle of nowhere, man. Yeah, we could hear the traffic, so we knew we were still somewhat on earth. <laughs> but other than that, yeah. it felt like it felt like everything just like we were just stuck in the woods and that was all that we were going to see no matter it was, just, um, it was a crazy feeling there's a friend a friend of mine john tenney he once he used to talk about bigfoot and you know he would always do this thing at, at his lectures where he would be like you know raise your hands if you believe in uh aliens and you know you get a couple of people raising their hands uh raise your hands if you believe in big hut you get a couple of people and then raise your hands if you get, believe in ghosts and everybody would raise their hands and he you know his the way that he described it is you mean to tell me you don't believe that something out you know think about how many people go out and go hunting and never see anything and yeah. and then but you'll go you'll believe that somebody's soul can you know, <laughs> mm -hmm. still exists yeah. on this this plane of existence, but you don't believe that you know there could be a an animal out there that we just haven't discovered yet. Yeah, it kind of goes hand in hand. That's true. Yeah, no, it really does, and people don't really put it into perspective how easy it is not to see those things. I mean, if you look at deer, deer are heavily populated everywhere. And yet you can go days to months without seeing it. You know, <laughs> it's, it, it's really, it's nothing. I've lived and in Maine my whole life and I've only seen a moose once. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there you go. And we're, we're still discovering and naming species to this day. That's true Absolutely. too. Every day we find a new fish or a new bug or orangutan or, oh, look at this. It's been around since the dinosaurs. It's like, oh, shit. It's Man, harder I, to prove Bigfoot doesn't exist than he does exist. You know what I mean? Like, absolutely. I was reading something the other day, too, about how little that the human body is capable of seeing visually on a wavelength and that, and hearing, too. It's like a, a minute amount compared to what is truly out there to be able to see and hear. That's um, mind-blowing. It, it really <laughs> is. It really is. Like, it makes you feel Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. But it makes you sense. It makes sense. You know, animals, yeah, cats, they see, they, they see, think of how, you know, owls, bats, bats can see with just vibration, you know? So yeah. what can't yeah, right. you see as a species? And yeah. all of those things are, are part of that spectrum, right? You know, you have your mm -hmm. UV light, you have your night vision light, but there's so much out there apart from that on that spectrum that we just don't see. And same with hearing. Uh, we're only, your ears are only capable of hearing certain frequencies from a certain range. And there's that range goes way further out than what we can hear. So you really truly never know what's actually going on around you. You just, yeah. you just can't see like it. Like a dog whistle. It. Look at a dog yeah. whistle. Yeah, you no, can't no, hear absolutely. Anything. Dogs will start blankets. And that, but think yeah. that's, that's like a grain of grain of sand and in, in, into that yeah. whole idea because it, it, it's infinite really. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Betsy Lou, for the first time since I've met you, you've been quiet. What are you going to say? Anything? I know you're, 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 you got people walking around the house there, but no. <laughs> no. Yeah. No. Victor, get your tongue. No, I'm fine. I'm. Uh, have you have you guys ever done an investigation where somebody or a group of people just says this is too much? I don't feel well. I need to stop. Ooh, or or maybe mm. you might have been like, I don't know if we need to call or anything like that. So we do, we deal with private cases every now and then where we, I, I have one recently. I talked to Betsy a little bit about it. I don't want to go into great detail with it, but it was a, to me, felt like a mental, mental health crisis and as somebody that deals with mental health himself. Um, uh, and I stressed a lot about it. You know, I, I really did. And I'm making sure that that person got the help that they needed. Uh, so 
as the events under searchers, I'd say no. I, I've done events in the past where we've had people, you know, maybe we're staying at a hotel or something. Those people will just pack up and leave. And they're gone. No way. Yeah. Mid. Wow. See, see stuff in their room and they're gone. Mm-hmm. Wow. No shit. But you know what you're signing on for, right? But some people, they want that fish, but once they catch it, they can't hang on to it, right? I, I tell you, I tell you what it is, man, is you can never, un- you can never understand your first time seeing something like that until you see something and, or, or hear something. It, it changes your perspective, no matter how educated you are in the matter. Uh, we, you know, there are people that I worked with that hadn't seen anything their whole life. And then, Hey, go get some batteries from the second floor. They go get batteries, see, see a full fledged figure there and brings them to tears. Like it's like, because it's just life altering at that mm-hmm. point. It's, it's like watching a car accident happen in front of you. It's like, shit, am I watching a movie? You just almost don't, your brain almost can't comprehend seeing a spirit. Yeah, absolutely. A- absolutely. How do you, how do you come to turn, especially if you see a full body apparition where you can detail out what they're wearing and stuff like that. Yeah. How do you, how do you come to terms with that internally? You know, it, it's pretty tough. Dude, you can listen to every Metallica and Slayer record. You can watch every Conjuring Universe movie. None of that matters when you come. You can watch every, no. you know, every Hans Holzer episode, even Searchers Live. But when you're yeah, there, absolutely. Like I was at St. Elban Sanatorium in Western Virginia. I went last year, and the dude left after the tour. He's like, yeah. I, fucking, I just, my whole body's alive. I can't. I gotta go. He took the tour and he left. I, 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 tour. I you know, I. There was a local hospital here that's now turned into a par- apartments, and um, at Ooh. the time they they were having issues with uh, construction on it, and they literally would not walk me in there. I had to go in like gun strapped because they gave me the keys and were gone. They were like, "Old oh, hospital, oh yeah, you you tell us." And I and actually I spent the night there, and me and a. Another investigator friend of mine, um, we spent the night there for two nights to try and just see if we could capture anything paranormal. But I'll, I'll tell you this, we didn't get a lot of evidence, but it is a truly, it was a truly terrifying place. It really is. Um, it's just, I don't know, water coming out of the walls. Jenny says, that, and... Jenny says that Betsy was affected at the old South Pittsburgh. Is that true? Jenny seems to be hopping on the chat. Jenny Woodman, thank you so much. For keeping yeah. her alive, uh, she's yeah. calling Betsy out. She must know you, Betsy. You must know, obviously, Josh. Yeah, I think I've heard yeah. her name before. Yeah, yeah. so Ms. what did that mean? You think you had an attachment, Betsy Lou, or what? Would you have a little, oh, yeah, a little um, scare? I mean, no, it was annoying because you know, I don't drink, and when I do, I shouldn't, but um, <laughs> either way, don't, amen. Either way, <laughs> um, but we were, you know, we had all split off in our groups and I was with the last group and we were on the first floor and we had gone into one of the, uh, former caretakers rooms and, um, Jim and he, I don't know. I don't know why me, I, I was, I'm not anyone special, especially for the paranormal. World, but you are, you but know? you are is the thing. Um, you don't, you don't get to determine if you're special to that person. Mm-hmm. That's, amen. That's how it amen. Works. Josh, you are correct. Josh is the brain um, operation. I can already tell that. But yeah, oh, no, he attached attached to, great, to me but... throughout the whole investigation. And I felt wow. very drunk throughout the investigation, very off kilter. And that's like, a sign. It was very odd. And then as soon as I got, like, everyone was up on the third floor for the last little part. And I mean, I couldn't even step onto the third floor landing without vomiting like whoa wow it i got very that's the same nauseous place josh thing. was talking about right that's the old south pittsburgh with mm-hmm. Heath? yeah yep. that's the same mm-hmm. place uh, wow. the place that she's talking about too if you step into that guy's living quarters it's like he was still there you expect him to come around the corner or something it, um, but you know betsy to kind of to my point is that um there is something unique about the experience right and it's not it, just yes it's not just you reaching out, it's them reaching out to you as well. And yeah, you know, maybe it's something about you specifically, maybe it's something about you and the time and, and place that it's 
it takes place to where they can make that connection. But there is yeah. absolutely something special about the connection. So, and, and as mm -hmm. yeah. searchers as a group, whenever we do make that connection, it is at, it's the utmost importance to us to, to really get the most that we can out of that and to really understand the story that they're trying to tell us, right? Yeah. Is, okay, yeah. we're here. What do we need to do? For you to be able to say what you need to say, you know, so right. you, treat it it like, you, you you all treat it like a gift. I'm like most teams, and I'm not going to name drop, but most teams will run out, oh, and they run out scared, and TV teams, whatever. Yeah, I, but no, but for us, it's, we don't we all work together when we stuff like that happens. Yeah, we're, we're all one. Two hours of video evidence. I don't need about that stuff. I need a time and a place and the opportunity to speak to the spirits that obviously will have something to say. So what yeah. what is it? What is so important that you are still here that you need to you need to tell? See, right? I think that's why I'm really exactly. wanting to go back <laughs> yeah. to the hospital. Well, it's important. It, it's important. Uh, you know, we can brush it off as you know and go back to our nine to five jobs or whatever, but no, they can't. They can't. They're right. they're there. Well, and they're waiting for that next opportunity, right? And they didn't yeah. make that connection for no reason. They did that for a reason. Exactly. They reached out to that and particular person. I, right. It's sorry to cut you off, but I feel like sometimes, like you said, Josh, you, you hit it right on the head. These ghosts are almost treated like an attraction at some of these places. Like, oh, come look at the mm -hmm. ghosts at Lizzie Borden's. Like you say, we go back to our nine to five. These ghosts don't leave. They don't punch out. They're there. So when they actually choose to reach out and say, Betsy, this girl looks like my daughter or Anne or whatever. When they reach out to you, it's a gift. And you take it. If you run away scared, they're going to say, well, screw him and screw the next and it, one. You know, it, it is scary sometimes, especially if you're by yeah, yourself. And, and, and sometimes the fear is what allows you to even be able to pick up on it to begin with. But, yeah, you know, it, especially for us, it was like we got to make Kimble. sure that we we don't run from it. And even if we are scared, we still have to go do it. We need to do it. Um, that's what it's all about. Uh, we have to open ourselves up to to hearing what being receptive of what the the other side is trying to tell us. And um, they're there yep. for a reason. And they're they're in a plane of existence that that is timeless and, and infinite. You know, so it. <laughs> We have to make that 10 seconds or 30 seconds or whatever really count. count. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Which agree. is why I love, I know it's, it's going a little over. I don't really, I run my own thing. I'm allowed so many hours on thing. I know I told you guys an hour, you guys probably get going. So we'll kind of try to wrap it up, but um, great show. Josh Purvis from the searchers right here. Heather Kimaniti from the Witch and Life Guide Show. Betsy Lu Betsy Brown Williams. She's a supporter for all the stuff. She's I can't. The cameras. There we go. Um, <laughs> you catch the searchers. The searchers are pretty much everywhere. With Shane Pittman, Josh Purvis, they have um, a new character in now. Like Kristen Lumen. Crystal Heyman. I knew the name. I couldn't think of it. Kristen Lumen. Yep. Crystal Heyman. Um, um. So is there anything you could talk about real quick in the future? I know a lot of it's under wraps. Is there anything at all, like a next event you can drop in or anything? Uh, so the next uh, event yeah. that we have is at the end of February. We're actually doing two days back-to-back -back at the uh, Gothic Hanging Jail in DeRitter, Louisiana. That place is really incredible, and it, it means a lot to Shane and I, too, because it was one of the – one of the places that we first went and kind of like made, you know, searches has always been an idea of Shane and I, as far as I can remember, but it was something about that night that was like the catalyst to really, all right, we're going to actually sit down and make this work and do it. And ever yeah. since then is, is when we started doing it. And um, it's, this is the That's first time that we've amazing. gone back since. Um, and, wow. you know, Marlena is up there. She, she helps run that place. Marlena's great. Uh, can't wait to see her again, of course. Uh, Thank you, Auntie. But uh, so yeah, we have we have out. that coming out. We got. I think Louisiana, out, Auntie. If you want to go to one, Auntie Elizabeth, I'd say Louisiana. Absolutely. The voodoo, the voodoo capital, voodoo vampires. You got swamps. Mm -hmm. I mean, you got fucking yeah. uh, slave houses. <laughs> I mean, I'm not yeah, there's Louisiana. a place out there called uh, <laughs> Myrtle's Plantation. That's really cool too. Myrtle's Plantation is very yes. Um, yep. Wow, Louisiana is like the Salem, Massachusetts of the of the uh, West or South. Yeah, South. yeah, it's interesting, right? So they're 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 heavily seeped in uh, voodoo, while you know Georgia and the coastal area is really heavily seeped in voodoo. 
So uh, they kind of share an interesting uh, yeah. relationship. However, hey, 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 there Carrie. are hey, a little Carrie. bit different, you know. Hey, Carrie. Hi, Carrie Ann. <laughs> Carrie, like Stephen King, you doused in blood at the prom or what, Carrie? No, that's no, Carrie from no. Maine. That's all I, Stephen King, that's all I know. It's all I am. Everywhere you I've look. known Carrie um, for quite That was a great years, show. So. We've hugged Josh enough and Betsy. Josh, I love your collection. Shout out to the Haunted yeah. Mansion. Yeah, um, I love it. What's your favorite book? What's your favorite book? Or uh, Right now, I've been, leaving, other than uh, Mandy's. Reading one. I've been reading one about the Corpsewood murders. <laughs> So you guys should take a look into that. That is an extremely strange story. That is one hundred percent real. It's an it'll blow your corpse mind. Wood? Corpse, yeah. wood? Corpse, corpse wood, corpse like wood, corpse corpse wood, corpse wood. Yep. Yes. And it was actually corpse called that wood. by the people that 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 lived there. So yeah, yeah. So that's a take fucking a middle band it. name itself. I present you, corpse it's wood. A, <laughs> this this story, man. It. it it steps into a little bit of everything: Corpse government wood. conspiracy, satanic cults, uh, everything. And yeah, just just oh, on, there we go. really cool. That's very cool. Oh, we're losing it a little bit again. Fucking mean weather. Yeah. Um, Josh Purvis, Josh Purvis. <laughs> Thanks for having me on, guys. Uh, Good night, Josh. Oh, uh, dude, we'll get you, you on again sometime with Shane, yeah. and when the internet's not. Yeah, being hopefully so we can get all three of us um, on. It'd be great, huh? Yeah, that would be amazing. Know, that would be awesome. It'll put me up. I'm your boy, Josh. Yeah, that a boy. Yes, I love it. Um, John, <laughs> uh, thank you everybody in chat. Carrie, Ann, Carrie, Ann Elson, or uh, Ison, Jenny Woodman, yep. Mary Elizabeth Lentz, Kenny Bull, Ross Pereira, uh, Raspazzo, blah 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 blah. Johnny Lowell. <laughs> everybody, thank you guys for tuning in. We had some some technical difficulties, but Betsy Brown hey, Williams, you're awesome. We made Thanks it, Josh Purvis. Me. George Bailey, Mandy Purvis, the author. Go check them out. George Bailey. George Bailey's the real, the real uh, show so stealer, huh? Yeah. I look over yeah. and he's laying on your pillow. Man. I go, must be nice. What a life. Laying on Josh's pillow. Oh, laying yeah. in his bed. Must be nice to have a life like that. Um, seriously, though, thank you for all that you do. Thank you for your T-shirts when I got yeah, mine no cut problem, off me in the ambulance. Hey, I told I'm you, I said, they cut my search shirt yeah. off. You're like, you want three more? I'm like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> give you one of everything, no. right? <laughs> no, yeah, I love you guys. Awesome. Um, <laughs> give the best to Shane and everybody that, all the new yeah, ones absolutely. there and everybody. I'm at the searchers. Betsy Brown, thank you so much. Heather, thank you so much for being my co host. Thank uh, you. Thank Hunter you for having podcast. me. We'll see you next Saturday, guys. Have a great night. All right. Sounds good. Good night, everybody. Good night.